Welcome to Bucket Verb, Refuse Software's new BBD Reverb plugin based on the Panasonic MN3011 Bucket Brigade delay chip with six outputs. In this video, we'll look at how to use Bucket Verb. The Bucket Verb GUI shows all available controls on its panel. To start, let's look at the time section on the left side of the panel. The short slash long switch selects whether the tail of the reverb is short or long. The size slider selects the delay between taps, resulting in larger or smaller reverb times. As with any of the sliders or knobs in Bucket Verb, you can command click on Mac OS or control click in Windows to nudge things along a finer range. Note that, like the original MN3011 chip, changing to a longer time with the size parameter and bucket verb adjusts the sampling rate down to 10 kilohertz. To compensate for this, the wet output of bucket verb slopes off starting at 5 kilohertz. Continuing with the time controls, we've got the low frequency oscillator or LFO controls. The LFO provides optional modulation for the delay time. By default it's off, but using the switch, we can turn it on with either a triangle or random waveform. The rate knob controls the speed of the LFO from 0.1 Hz to 10 Hz. The depth knob controls how much the LFO affects the delay time from 0% to 50%. Moving over to the right side of the panel, we've got the stereo and mixing controls. The stereo section controls the panning of the six delay taps. When the slider is set to the minimum, all taps are panned to the center, resulting in a mono reverb effect. When the width slider is set to maximum, alternating taps are hard panned left and right, resulting in a wide stereo spread, even with a mono input signal. The stereo mode switch offers three different panning modes. In hard pan mode, the default, alternating delay taps are hard panned to the left and right channels. In panimation mode, the delay taps start with alternate panning and are slowly modulated across the stereo field. The stereo locations of the taps are staggered and blended so that the reverb sounds like it's coming from a surrounding location in the stereo field. Ensemble mode, Bucket Verb uses a pair of modeled BBD reverb chips instead of a single one. The delay times of the chips are modulated in a style similar to a classic rack unit chorus. This gives the reverb a subjectively thicker and softer sound than the other two modes. Note that the modulation of the two virtual chips in Ensemble mode is independently preset and is not affected by Bucket Verb's main LFO controls. The mix section contains two controls. The mix slider controls the dry-wet mix. At minimum, the output is 100% dry, and at maximum, the output is 100% reverberated signal. The high-pass filter switch, when engaged, applies a high-pass filter to the recirculated delay signals only. This means that the dry input sound is not affected. The high-pass filter is helpful to avoid low-frequency buildup especially with longer reverb tails using the long decay setting. Finally, there's a utility bar at the bottom of the plugin. The buttons here let you select a preset, export your current setting as a preset, 
view documentation for BucketVerb, and check online for updates to the plugin. You now have an understanding of the controls available in BucketVerb. Head to bucketverb.com to get your demo of this plugin for free and hear more sound examples.